So if you to receive an email, like me, that said, would you like a chainsaw? I'm pretty sure, like me, there'd only be one answer to that question. And of course, the answer is yes. And here it is, a CC mini chainsaw. And I'll come to that in a minute. So down the bottom of the garden here, we'll go and have a look in a bit. There's big trees and bushes and things and stuff that just needs managing because it's, to be honest, at this time of year, it's all a bit of a mess down there. And I need to get on top of stuff before the, before the spring, before the summer comes, before it all gets too leafy and bushy and green down there. And it's even, honestly, it's even worse to manage when it's like that. But previously, I've used one of these. I can't, I can't even get it out the thing. There we go. And that's a, a pruning saw, and it's fine. It, it does the job, apart from when things get a bit, a bit big, a bit woody, and it all just becomes a bit of a chore. So let's just have a quick look inside the box. Now, I've had this out. I've used it once before. Those of you who saw me up at the allotment when we were doing the fence project, you'll have seen me cutting the fence post of this. And inside the box, we've got a few things. We've got the instructions, which will pop over there. Some safety gloves, which are great. Some safety glasses, which are great. But this is the this is the main thing. This is the saw itself, and it's pretty much as is as it came out of the box. Doesn't take any setting up. Comes pre-oiled. They do send you a little oil squeezy bottle jar thing there. Comes with two batteries, which I thought was marvellous. I was only expecting to find one battery in here. Two batteries who were partially charged when it turned up. I gave them a full charge. All you do, hook the plug into the battery, charges it up. There's a spare chain in there as well, the, the chain blade thing, and there's a little screwdriver there. You don't really see a little screwdriver for adjusting stuff on here as well. And you just lift that up. If it comes, if it comes off, take that off. There we go. And that's the chainsaw there. And it's blooming marvellous. And one of the things I like about it, obviously, with it being battery, it's cordless. So it's brilliant for me, taking up to the allotment, using down the garden, don't I have to have extension cables, don't I have to have petrol, if you've got a petrol driven chainsaw, anything like that, dead easy, nice, clean, tidy, jobs are good. And anyway, I suspect what you probably want to see is less of me taking this out of a box and more me trying to not cause myself an injury. I have no wish to lose a, a limb, to lose a, use a finger or a hand or anything like that, but we'll go down there and we'll have a shot of trying some different branches, different limbs, different size stuff, and we'll see how it works in practice. So, so something nice and quick and easy to begin with, this this old tree here, this this was diseased. We had the, all the trees along the bottom here topped. It was the last year, the year before, tree surgeons out. We had to have licenses from the council and all sorts of stuff to do it, but the guys came out, did a good job. Unfortunately, this tree here was diseased, so I had to, it had to come down, but we have left this rather big bit of trunk here because we didn't want a big open gap at the bottom of the garden where people are looking through anything like that. So what does happen though, is these grow. These little little branches, limbs, things, whatever you want to call them, they come off here all the time. And it drives me round the twist, having to come down here, either with a little, little hand saw thing, the pruning saw that you saw before, or the secateurs to get them off. So it's the little CC mini chainsaw gonna make my life any easier when doing this. There's only one way to find out. I'm actually just surprised myself as to just how quick and easy that was. I was I was expecting a little bit more of a little bit more of a challenge, a bit more of a battle. I guess back back here there's a, there's a wood burner down here. I'm going to try and not trip up, but we've got a sort of collection of all these little branches and limbs in one place now. And I wonder if I can do it one-handed and I can come down because there obviously I was holding on and putting the tension on. So this is a bit of a and, well, I've made it an awkward space. I could move the wood burner, but quite frankly, I can't be bothered. So let's see if I can just sort of lean over and just come down. You're like, like a hedge trimmer would work. If you had a hedge and you were doing that, I wonder if I can just come down there with this and see if we can make that work. Now let's give it a try. And indeed we can, and again, it was surprisingly straightforward. And what I'll do, in just a second, I'll come over there, we'll put the camera up, we'll bring it over here, and you can see the sort of, the limbs and things that have been trimming off this tree. Right, so let's just have a, a quick walk over here and see see what's going on. And you can see I've got my safety goggles on and my gloves, I don't know if you can see in my jacket there or not. But please, if you're using something like this, if you get one of these, wear the goggles, wear the gloves. There's sawdust, there's bits of stuff comes flying off absolutely everywhere. You only have one pair of eyes. You only have two hands and 10 fingers. 
don't do anything stupid and chop them off. Wear the gloves, wear the glasses. Anyway, enough of me lecturing you about safety gear. Let's have a spin around, see what we've got here. I might do a little bit more of a sort of up close test if I can of and get the camera angle. We'll have a look at just, just whether this is any good or not. Back with you in two seconds. So down here in amongst all the leaves is all the bits I've been trimmed off. And you can see there's some, there's some decent size. I mean, they're not tiny little branches. I mean, the ones that I've, I've snipped off round there, you can see up here, the little ones. But once I started getting a bit higher, you can see that's about as high as I could, could reach sort of safely. I'll have to get a ladder out to get a bit higher up and do some stuff. But you can, you can see them all down there that have been chopped off. But this, you see this here, this thing here is horrible. It's got big, horrible, nasty, spiky branches that come off it. And I'm actually, last year, I started trying to take this out. You can see I've sort of chopped loads of it down because... When we've got Robbie in the garden, we've got the cat, we've got kids, stuff like that. This is horrible and it needs to come out. So let's just see if I can film this on here and you can see just how easy this makes this sort of thing, right? Let's give it a shot. There you go, look at that. That was like, what, two or three seconds and it was through there. We'll do it again on this one to show you it wasn't a one-off. There we go, straight through quick and as easy as that and now i was using a hand saw or or the pruning saw whatever i showed you before that's going to take me an absolute age to do that right first two tests done let's go and try something else now hopefully you can, you can see me hiding over here in the bushes it's not some sort of camouflage experiment but there is this this tree here i don't know how well you can see it but it is starting to get a bit unmanageable in the space that it's in and it's just there's just a few limbs like this one here this one here, it just needs trimming back a little bit. And I mean, it's a decent size, but we'll see if it works. We're getting bigger. We're getting a little bit bigger than the bits we were doing over there. And this is on a live and kicking sort of young tree that's growing in this space over here. So it needs to be managed. So I don't want it to get too big in here as well, or it's going to block the sun coming through in the summer there. Whereas, oh, even in the spring, it's worse than the spring because when the sun's low in the, in the sky and it tries to come through these gaps between the big trees, that's when it really causes a problem. But let's, let's give this another try and see how we get on. Oh, and that's all tangled up in there as well, but that's that one done and we'll take, we'll take this. This is making such easy work of this. I mean, I'd be, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying it, you know, me man, chainsaw kind of thing. It's, it is good fun as long as you, you're sensible and you're careful with it. It makes such light work of things like this. And let's just, I'm just gonna take this here. So again, that's a pretty substantial bit of that tree. It's all tangled up. And there's one easy way to get rid of that. Just give it a snip with the chainsaw. Let's bring it out. So let's, you see, it's a bit cumbersome. I'm not, you know what it is? There's, there's tree surgeons down in the street today working with proper chainsaws and machines and stuff. I wonder what they would make of me doing this, but you can see the, see the size of that there. And it's a pretty, a pretty <laughs> decent bit of wood. And I think, is that it? Or do we need to take any more off? I think that's probably about it for this one. So I guess the question is, is it any good? And you know what? It is, it's pretty good. I mean, look at the, the pile of stuff. This is probably what? 15, 20 minutes it's taken me to potter around in here to remove all of this. It's gonna take me so much longer to deal with all this and clean all the wood chip, all the all the sawdust sort of stuff off my jacket than it was to actually cut them. This thing has made my life so much easier. At the time I'm filming this, you can get this on Amazon. This is a six inch version of it. You can get bigger versions. This is about 68 pounds. I'll put a link in the description down below if you wanna go and have a look at it. Is it worth it? For me, yes it is. It's a massive time saver dealing with all this. It saves me loads of time. I don't have loads of time to do stuff in the garden because I'm so busy at the allotment all the time, the garden gets neglected a little bit and this is a huge time saver for me. Is it worth 68 pound to you? Only you can decide that. I'm never, I'm never gonna tell you if it is or not. Don't, you know, if you don't want to, don't go and buy it. But for me, yeah, would I recommend it? I would, it makes life so much easier. Comes with the gloves, comes with the glasses, comes with two chains, two batteries, everything you need in the one box. Absolutely marvelous. Anyway, that's me done for today. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, folks.